Local filmmakers had quite the surprise at the Regional Emmy Awards in Seattle earlier this month. MTN's Emma Hamilton has their story. What we do at Montana PBS is just really top flight. That point was surely proven when Scott Sterling and Eric Funk's documentary, The Violin Alone, won six Emmy Awards earlier this month. The film is based around Funk, who is a Montana State University music professor and classical composer and a Hungarian violinist. We ended up uh, raising some money, flying to Budapest for two weeks, two and a half weeks, shooting the whole thing. But it took five years almost to make this film. Funk composes music for the violinist and it has the ability to sound like other instruments in an orchestra. The driving force behind this film is art for the sake of art. But it's really interesting because it kind of shows a connection between a composer and a performer and all the things that you go through. It's kind of like an engineer and a builder, you know, trying to create something that no one's ever seen before. And after all the hard work came together here at the Montana PBS, their dreams really came true at the Regional Emmy Awards. They kept saying, and the Emmy Award goes to, and it would be us, and the lights would come on and people would clap. It was like very surreal. Winning six awards out of the eight nominations was something neither Funk or Sterling thought was possible. You kind of have a speech in your mind that you might say if you win. In this case, I just thought there's no way it's going to happen. It was amazing. I mean, it's always such an honor to be recognized by your peers. I never expected it to win as many as it did, you know, particularly because the film's kind of different. It's pretty esoteric. It's experimental music. In Bozeman, Emma Hamilton, MTN News. All right, well-deserved a big congratulations, and the documentary is available for television stations if they want to air it, and distributors have contacted Sterling about putting it out on DVD. Still